Hello everyone. If you solve problem in code sources regularly, then today's video is just for you. You can say that today's video is kind of a life hack, but as a programmer, we all know that there's nothing like being life hack. It's all about coding and programming and the problem solving technique, right? So that's the real deal here. We have come up with a JavaScript file which will enable you to get the dark theme on code forces globally from any of your browsers. And there's also an amazing trick to submit your solution to code forces directly without using even your mouse. So that might come in super handy to you if you are regular in code forces and so on. So first of all, go to the GitHub profile link github.com slash fahimfba slash handle dash code forces. You don't need to worry about the link as I have already provided the link in the description box. So first of all, we need to go to the link. And there, I have already set up each and every instruction you need to follow. Uh, but don't worry, I'm going to uh, show each procedure here in this video. First of all, we need to install an extension named Camper Monkey. How to install? You simply need to click on this. For better clarity, I'm going to open it in a new tab. One important thing is that Tempermaki extension works on Pro, Microsoft Edge, Safari, Opera, Next, Firefox, Brave, Vivaldi, any kind of uh, Chromium-based browser and so on. So first of all, we need to download and install this extension. Here we are getting two versions. One of them is Tempermaki Stable, and the another one is Tempermaki Beta. Install the Stable version, simply hit on Download, okay? And from here, select Add to Brave. Or if you are using it on Chrome, you would find Add to Chrome or so on. And Add Extension. It will simply download and install the extension for you. Tempermaki has been added to Brave. OK. Now, you might not find the extension directly out of the box as uh, it has included itself in this menu. What you need to do? Simply click on this extension tab and pin this temperament extension here. Okay. Now you may close the other windows as well. We have completed the first step, which is installing the temperament extension in your web browser. And the second step is that you need to install the CF Easy Submission user script. Simply click this link here, right? I'm clicking here. And I have got this, okay? Here are the script we need to use here and simply click on install. Okay, now the script has been installed. After that, we can go to code sources. You see, the dark theme has been enabled globally. Let me surf this website a little more to show you how the global theme works here. I'm going to problem set, I'm opening a problem, and so on. You might notice that the font size of the problem page is kind of larger, right? Don't worry, we had added it in the script, but if you want to change the font size to the default, then you can also fix this. And yeah, I'm also going to show it in this video. So don't worry about that. If you want to turn off the uh, GitHub dark theme, what you need to do, you need to remove this line from the script. How would you do that? You might have this question in your mind, right? Simply go to the code forces. Now you will see that Temper Monkey is showing that uh, it has a script running on this site. Simply click on here 
and I'm getting CFPL submission or script here. I'm going to click here and I need to go to edit section. This is the script. And if I want to disable the uh, dark theme, then what I need to do, I need to simply delete this. After deleting it, click on file, click on save. Or you can also use the shortcut key for uh, save is control S. And for Mac, it should be command and S. Okay. Operation completed successfully. Now, deload the code sources. And you see, the website is back on its earlier theme, white mode theme, right? Like this. Now, I want to keep the dark theme again. So what I need to do, I need to simply follow the previous step. Click on this, go to the script, edit, and I'm going to add the dark theme script again here. I'm going to save this script and reload. And after that, I'm getting the global dark theme here again. Okay, that's simple enough, right? Now about the uh, font size of the problem set. Okay, first of all, you might wonder that you are already getting the large font size in uh, all of the font here in this site, but don't worry about it. I have zoomed it so that you can see this clearly. As I'm recording this video on my 1080p monitor, it might hard to see to those who are using 720p monitor or 1366 into 768 resolution, right? So that's why I have simply increased a font size so that it might help you to see how it's going on. But even in this Zoom section, if I go to the problem set and open any problem, you see that there's an increased amount of uh, font size in the problems. So how can we fix this? Simply click on the TemperMic extension, go to CFPG submission, click on edit, and here, in this script and line long 23, we are getting this, like problem page font says 1.8 EM. You need to simply remove the 0.8 and it should be kept 1 EM. Um, don't worry about it. I have already provided this, this script also, like this, 1 EM, okay? And now I need to save operation completed successfully and I need to simply reboot this. The font size of the problem set has been reset to the default font size. Now, if I opt out from the uh, zoom in, reset, and it's the default size, depending on my monitor. All right, so that's it. And now for the interesting part, which is easy submission. How can we use that? So first of all, I'm going to uh, log in to my Codeforces account from here. Now, if I want to check on other submission, then what I need to do, first of all, I need to enter into the problem set or the question. Like, first of all, I have opened a problem here and I need to check on other subscript. And I also want to check on others submission. First of all, I will press on G from my keyboard and it will take to the status page of the problem, of course. And if I want to filter the friend submission of mine in the code sources, I mean, then I simply need to press on F key from my keyboard. Pressing F would filter it uh, from everyone's submission to your friend submission on code sources. And obviously, you can change the keyboard button from the script as well. But don't worry about that. It's also pretty simple. Simply head over to the GitHub page and you can see that these keys can be changed by solution page key and friend solution page key variable. How would you change that? Simply uh, open the script again, go to the edit section and here, solution page key, okay? Here also you can change the button. You can change the button here also and you can change it as well as I have showed you earlier. After changing it, simply click on file and save. That's it. Nothing uh, is too much complicated here, right? 
and you can check the other uh, submission from here as well like this okay so now i'm heading over to the part is a submission method right so for that reason i'm going to select a problem which i have already solved watermelon as i have already solved this problem earlier so i'm going to use it here now if you are wondering about the source code here of my code for solution uh, i maintain these everything on my github profile let me show you don't worry i will also provide the link in the description box as well here i regularly update all the solution of mine here and you can get those maintaining a sequence also question solution here okay so back to our main point suppose this is my solution and i am willing to submit this solution to the problem page first of all what i would do i would simply select all and copy it for now i am using the shortcut for copying which is Control and c uh, from windows or linux okay i will simply uh, click once in this problem page and after that i will simply hit on s key from my keyboard it have taken me to the submit page and i will allow it of course because it would allow the browser or the script to paste our copy text here okay click on allow you see the code i have copied earlier from my vs code has already pasted here automatically now as i solved my previous problem using the c++ the language is showing c++ but you may wonder that this is python code so obviously i am simply change it to python okay and what i need to do i need to simply hit on the s key from my keyboard again you see it has already been submitted automatically and the uh, verdict is running and after a while it should provide the problem statement is already wrong don't worry about it i will fix it later so that's it for today thank you everyone for watching this video and if you like the script and it will help you then consider starting this project by clicking on here you need to sign in to your github profile first and then i would request you to start this project by clicking on here if you want to make some changes or modification or upgradation you can simply create an issue here or you can simply forward this repository to your github account and make some customization and so on after that you need to uh, open a pull request and i would recheck your code and everything as well but don't forget that you need to check out to a new branch before uh, requesting for a pull request. So thank you everyone. I will see you in the next video.